a fiddle again, and hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Ted Minker's Collection Adventure. So we've made it through Winterfest last episode, I'm going to move a few things around, I'm going to change where the gap is in our little wall here, just so it's in line with our computer desk. I think it makes more sense, sitting like this. Move our little mural across. So that looks a little bit better. Yeah, little improvements and little tidying up. And move around our outdoor objects. Set up a little nice area next to the rocket. Where we can brew up some little concoctions make some food go through the inventory again get our spare crystals sent off hopefully get back the right elements that we can finish off that collection I think there's a display board that you can display the elements in so we'll pick that up once we get the collection finished. So we're going to go on to the computer and get some gifts. Random things that we can get. Nothing that will help us get more uh, collectibles. We want to get more things for our garden. We don't have access to the better seeds. Just start our seed packets. That's fine. But level two in our dancing skill. Last episode, we noticed that we'd lost a little bit of footage. So we want to know. I thought that we'd maxed out our gardening skill. I didn't think that we'd uh, bought a new skill item but I just couldn't see it I had in fact maxed out the gardening skill my new skill item is uh, placed up against the back wall got us an easel we got pretty far along with our art skill our painting skill just by working on the murals but having the easel is a good money maker because we can sell off the paintings when we're done and when we paint a masterpiece we can put it up in our on our walls decorate our pad a little bit so we're writing away to our pen pals so we can request our postcards from them working on our first painting on our easel certainly is fabulous I love his taste so yeah we'll tidy up our inventory as we go try and eat healthy by eating some of this produce Certainly getting a, a belly on him. Again, we're going to tidy up our garden a little bit. We're going to expand this sort of entranceway a little bit. So we've got room for the dumpster. I think it makes more sense if it's uh, out in this little area. Along with our mailbox. We do have plenty of room to play with. I don't think we're really sacrificing any garden space by doing this. And that certainly looks better. We'll line up our mailbox a little bit. Look our Christmas tree over in the corner until the next winter fest. Challenge to a jewel. So 
we'll head over to the magical realm. Go kick some butt. While we're here, we'll try and get some more magical artifacts and ingredients. Okay, and I'm not really keeping track of the wands and the orbs and the tomes, we're just grabbing them when we see them. And if they're duplicates, they're duplicates, we can just sell them off again. We're still on the fabulously wealthy aspiration, so really we should be saving our money. But yeah, he's used to having nothing, so money's burning a hole in his pocket. Get ourselves a death flower. So if we see someone dying and death turns up, we can offer them the death flower. I'm sure it'll also help us uh, brew up a potion. So we ourselves another tome. We're going to challenge a few people to jewels. Try and get some more magical artifacts. And while we're here. We won't lose too many jewels in a row and end up with a curse again. It's a bit of pain to get rid of last time. As long as we're successful, shouldn't be in any danger of that. Anyway, so we're going to punch the jewels in a row. Get ourselves some more stuff. on our way at completing those uh, magical artifact collections. Get an achievement for playing for 24 hours. We've come pretty far in 24 game hours. Yeah, we're doing pretty well with our crystals. If we keep up our good relationship with the bees. Keep asking them to get us more collectibles. Hopefully they'll give us the uh, last crystals that we need to complete the collection. House is starting to look great. Nice and full. Looks like a proper home. He does love using the bar. And we'll leave him to his own devices. We'll give him waterproof so he doesn't mind getting wet when he's out doing the gardening. It gives us another achievement. He's got 12 traits. Getting invited to another festival. Sure, let's do it. Go around, try and find some posters. See if there's a stall to get a snow globe. Our mini mission is to use the bubble hooker. So we can get that done. We'll get our snow globe. We need to get some fireworks previously and set them up in the lot. I can't see us ever setting them off. Maybe one day. Again, we shoot some hoops to kill some time. Get to the end of the festival. And that counted as gold completion. For our night on the town. For the holiday. It's a two for one. So we're back. Asking our bees to look out for our last remaining crystals. Got us a buddy. It's not quite what we're after. And a postcard. I'm sure we'll get there soon. Yeah, it's sad we missed our level 10 gardening pizzazz. But at least we've got there now. 
there's 10 garden, that'll do all the things that are required. We've got a much larger area for collecting all our produce. Got some holiday crackers that we got off the computer. When we open them, we'll get these little collectible monsters. They look as though they'd be sort of bean bags. That's what I imagine their texture to be. Again, we'll sell off the spare ones. It's another thing that we can get from the computer. Just work our way through opening them until we get them all. Another collection that should be relatively easy to complete. to get up to level 8 fitness using our fitness contraption our bench keeping up with looking after our bees and again we'll send them off to try and get some more rare collectibles some more stuff we don't already have New Year's Eve. We've got a TV now, so we should be able to get gold completion for that. Got some starter vegetables, so that is kind of helpful. There we go. Finally got the last crystal to complete the collection. So we'll celebrate by making a New Year's resolution to complete an aspiration milestone. Practice our singing. It's one of our New Year's interactions that we can do. Sing about New Year's Eve. We don't have to make a, a grand meal this time. We can boogie using our fabulous radio. It's another good dumpster find. It can help us with our dancing skill, keep us entertained. So we've got the TV on so we can watch the New Year's Eve celebrations. Finish off the night and the year in style. For completing our collection, we're going to get ourselves a household item. It doesn't give us a skill. We're going to go with Patchy the Scarecrow. Set him down in the back garden. Find the right place for him. He's essentially a scarecrow. You can root through his pockets for seeds. That'll help you get uh, more plants for the garden. You can also speak to him. And then once you get uh, your friendship level up with him, he'll magically come to life. It becomes not a playable character, but like a character that will kick about your lot and help do the gardening when you need somebody to speak to. I will tell him a few jokes. So I've managed to unlock the patchy outfit now. I'll we'll have to set that up as one of our outfits. Yeah, once you get your friendship level up, you'll randomly come to life and jump down off his perch and go around to water your plants for you and stuff. With us being alone on the lot, somebody to actually speak to. Bills have been auto paid. They're up above a thousand, but yeah, it's not too bad. I'm sure, soon enough we'll be able to complete this fabulously wealthy aspiration. So we're planting some stuff in the garden. He's decided to autonomously brew some mac and cheese. Use up the cauldron for cooking. And he's got a perfectly good cooker. 
rather large amount of mac and cheese he's making. The whole cauldron full. So we managed to get a, a mat for dancing on. Like a cardboard break dancing mat. Put that out, maybe use that at some point. He's observing the skies, managed to get his logic level up. Finished brewing his mac and cheese. This is Patchy coming to life for the first time. He's supposed to wander about and help with the garden. I don't think he'll interact with the bee boxes, but he should interact with the plants if they need uh, any watering or tend in the garden if it needs it. He'll come up and chat to us. Yeah, I'm not sure if we hired a gardener, if they would uh, deal with the bee box as well. We'll pop up our next plaque for completing our third collection. Of course, Patchy just wants to use the computer. Lock him out of using that. Don't want him being just like every other visitor sim that comes around just to use your computer. Yeah, it's good to have someone to chat to on the lot. And we're back in the magical realm, responding to another request to Jewel. We've managed to snag them with some social interactions. Looked like we were going to get a second jewel out of them, but then they just disappeared off into the night. Happens a lot when you get called for a jewel. They're only wanting that one jewel. They've got big plans, they're going to run off. Whereas the other people who are just kicking about tend to stick around after you jewel them. So we've got another spellcaster level up. Another perk chosen. Keep jeweling away. Seem to be winning all our jewels. Everything's going our way. So we should be fine. Stay away from getting cursed again. We're going to go into our create a sim. I mean, like to give him the patchy outfit for when he's working out. But we'll give him some more fabulous outfits that suit a, a well to do wizard. Ah, this makes him look nice and trim. Despite eating all that fresh produce in his uh, inventory, he's fairly been putting on weight. Clement Frost, our Santa Claus, wants us to go to GeekCon with him. Sure, why not? Get another snow globe. Look for more posters. It's our mission to participate in a contest, so we'll get that done. We'll go off on a space mission. Using up one of their rockets. Festival's over, we'll go back to the magical realm and battle this guy who's fabulously dressed. Good to see you, old friend. Nice to get ourselves a new tome and steal a light. Apparently, they noticed. I can't see who noticed me, but never mind. We'll get back and get our magical lamp set up. If we could copy it, it would be the easiest thing to do to get another one, but sadly we can't. This means we'll have to go back and do it all again. So we've got some of our plants are ready to evolve. Things are going well in the garden. We've leveled up our writing skill by writing to our pen pals. I'm going to ask him for some postcards now. 
working on that collection. Our painting level up to paint level 9. And that helps us paint a masterpiece. So we won't sell any of our masterpieces. Although we do want the cash. Get up to our next aspiration level. We want to keep our masterpieces to decorate our place. So we'll get that up and framed. We're going to strip our mural and change it for an optical illusion. Have it like a, a Wile E. Coyote style break in the wall. Doing that gets us up to level 10 painting. Let's just max that out. We'll have to see what skill item we want next time. Just enough time to sort through the inventory. We'll sell off our duplicate posters. Get another one popped up. Yeah, we're getting there with our collections. We've got an inventory full of stuff. Must be getting close with some of them. Get our paintings sold off. Need to be holding on to anything that's not a masterpiece. Oh, I'm getting texts about all the stuff we've stolen. About 30 days before we age up, and four days left to do our resolution. We might need to switch to something else. So I'm not sure we're going to get seven grand in four days. I'm sure there's another aspiration that will be easy to clear the first level of that we can switch to. So looking at our collections tab, still got heaps of plants to get. It looks as though we're still missing one crystal, even though we've completed the collection. Not sure what that's about. Yeah, there's a few things that we're fairly close to completing and others that are less so. Seems to be easier to complete the aspirations and grind our skills than it is to get all our collectibles. So we'll come back next time. Try and focus on completing a collection. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.